Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy, terrific Tuesday, wherever in the world. I'm so happy to be thankful in the presence of the Lord all the time. Despite what is going on in your life, you can thank the Lord Jesus. Because when you have the presence of the Lord, you are a change and an individual. Despite what is going on, despite all people that need Jesus, they need Jesus more. Because when you need Jesus, you will be changed, right? Because Jesus Christ died for us. Jesus Christ came into the world. And he came to save sinners, and he came to save the ungodly, and he came to save people like you and me. So we have to learn to respect one another, right? And that's the reason why God said, if you don't obey my words, you will see destruction. If you don't obey my words, I will cause things to happen and cl lock closed doors, right? That's the reason why the Bible is here. That's the reason why Jesus is here, to save mankind, because he's the creator. And he could take down, he could destroy, he could do plenty things right so you ought to be listening and obeying and obeying god's word okay so those of you all who are joining me those of you all who are going to work good morning good morning good morning greetings in the name of jesus i'm so thankful and happy to be in the presence of the lord every morning right and i always have a joy in my heart for the lord because when you have a joy in your heart for the lord you could be singing worshiping magnifying and praising his holy name that is the only one you look up to not not your friends not your family but the one who you look up to is jesus christ okay so grab a notebook grab a pen grab whatever you have grab a king james version and let us go down into wood right we are going on to isaiah chapter 5 right isaiah chapter 5 1 to 30 and then we are going on to the we are going on to the lecture session in a moment so if you don't have a bible or you just want to listen to me no problem so i hope you all have a blessed but let us pray right heavenly father we just thank you for this this word father Lord. i pray father it will be encouraging whether inspiration whether it will change wrong people lives for the better father because people are going through all type of problems in their family that my father lord and father lord all evil spirits will leave their home father lord i pray for the spirit of infirmities the spirit of the spirit of jezebel the spirit of all these things shall be coming out of people right now but father lord, they will be releasing father lord right now the anger whatever father lord spirit of jealousy father lord father lord i pray father lord jesus that father lord the anointed power father lord will heal people father lord, and deliver them from all these infirmities that they have for all these years father lord whatever pains they have in their body father lord you father lord he did father lord because you are the healer father lord you are the healer you are the physician you are the provider you are sustainer i thank you lord just to come into your presence every Every morning so I'm about to bring your lecture session I'm about to bring your word father lord i pray it will be a, a blessing to your hearts that father lord, they will uplift and they will understand father lord they will not father lord go by what they think in father lord they will understand father lord they will comprehend father lord they have the peace and joy and walk after the fruit of the spirit that the fruit of the spirit father lord be enriched in their lives that father lord, you can let people know about the lord father lord. they evangelize just as myself father lord that father lord yes father lord people need you father lord and father lord they don't know how to go about getting to know you you is the only way to go about getting to know jesus christ is by repenting and surrendering and coming to a full circle and coming to a full alignment with jesus christ because father lord we ought to be praising you and worshiping you and not only getting sidetracked by the enemy because the enemy is a liar the enemy comes to steal to kill and destroy but you come that we have life and have it more abundantly according to john 10 10 we need to father lord focus on you more father lord and not focus on social media not focus on youtube not focus on facebook because all these people need jesus the teams father Lord, I pray for Facebook team. I pray for Facebook, Father Lord. I pray for the coordinator, the team, Father Lord, will get to know Jesus Christ. They will surrender. They will go down on their knees and surrender their all, Father Lord, and stop giving way to the enemy, Father. Lord. Because the enemy, Father Lord, they have demonized spirits, Father Lord, mountain spirits, Father Lord, on social media. I pray, Father Lord, all these things shall be written out, cast out, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus. That Father Lord, they will be free from their sin. They will be free from bondage. They will be free from captivity. And such as, Father Lord, YouTube and all these social sites all these things father lord that people will know father lord that they could get healed by only by coming to know jesus christ they will not be studying what the enemy because the enemy is alive because it is written thou shalt honor the lord thy god with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind so about to bring everything care prayer allow the holy spirit to lead and direct in the name of jesus christ our lord amen So, 
I hope you all have a blessed day, right? Sorry about that in the background. That's just my father, right? But God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So you can turn to me, right? Isaiah 5, right? In your Amplified Bible. Chapter 5, 1 to 30. If you don't have a Bible, you can follow me through. So... So it say, let me sing of and for my greatly beloved and as his representative, a tender song of my beloved God, the son concerning his vineyard. You can take down notes to write. So always have a pen and paper at hand and take down notes because it's very important. This will be a catapult for your victory. This will be a catapult for your life, right? And to walk to the only way to salvation is by coming to know Jesus Christ. When you come to know Jesus Christ, you are a, you are a different individual. Right? It will have trials, we will have tribulations, yes. But God is always good all the time. Right? When you focus on the Lord and you stop taking up these things of this world, you will be safe. Right? Because we are the righteous and we have to be righteously obeying the Lord faithfully. Right? Believing on Him, trusting on Him. Right? Yes, it will have a time that people will lie to you, people will hate you because you're doing that. But no, they cannot control you. You, ha you have to allow Jesus Christ to take charge of your life, right? Because he is always, right? He is always loves you. He always cares for you. He wants the best for you. And the only way to do that is by locking off friends, is by locking off people, right? People who are demonized need help. They need to take out that demon spirit of them. And the only way is to repent, right? The reason why things have had to happen to some people, right? And they are hard of hearing and they are rebellious is because they want to have their own way. The Bible talks about in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 say, Do not lean on your own understanding, but acknowledge him and the, he will direct your path. So when we want to be facing challenges in life, we're facing things in life, we have to call upon the Lord. When you call upon the Lord, you are a changed individual. When you call upon the Lord, you know what Jesus Christ wants of you, right? And it's not what people want of you, it's what God wants. What did God say, right? So sometimes we need, as saints of God, to be more closer to the Lord, draw more closer, walk after the fruit of the Spirit, which is joy, peace, patience, meekness, love, tender mercy, all these things, right? We have to have the attributes, and we have to come in full circle and full agreement with the Lord, okay? Because he's the only one who could help you in your situation. He's the only one we need to run to, right? So people in America, people in Caribbean who have sicknesses, who have things for all these years, need to run to Jesus. Just as how the woman with the issue with blood, she didn't have no family, even though family members thought she was crazy, even though she's spending a set of money on doctors and the doctor's not helping. It's only Jesus. She say, she, she, because of her faith, she she had it to wait about 10 years, 5 years, whatever. Because she had faith and think God heal her. Right? God stopped that blood clot. Whatever. So God could heal you too. Just as how the woman with the issue of blood was healed, he could heal you too. Right? He could heal me and you. He could heal your family dynamic. He could deliver you for, out of all infirmities, all evil spirits, all these things. Right? Because these things are not of God. These things are of the devil. Right? So we are going to... we. In chapter 5, it's saying, let me sing off, and for my greatly beloved. So we are beloved. We are sons and daughters in the body of Christ, right? We must be singing and singing wondrously and joyously in the Lord Jesus Christ, right? So it says, my greatly beloved had a vineyard on a very fruitful hill. Solomon, right? The songs of Solomon 6, 3, Matthew 20, 20 1, 21, 33 to 40. And he dug and trenched the ground and gathered all the stones from it and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and hewed out a wine press in it. And he looked for it to bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. So he was planting something. He was in the ground. You see, when you plant seeds, when you put seeds on, the, on, on fertile ground, it will grow, it will bear fruit, right? But he put on a bad fruit and it grew wild grapes. When it's supposed to grow grapes naturally, right? So we ought to put our seeds in Jesus Christ. We ought to sow our seeds. And sowing our seeds is not about money alone, right? It's about prayers. It's about crying tears. It's about praise and worship. It's about reading the Bible. It's about ought to obeying God's word. When we seek God daily, 
and we put him first in all things, we will see things coming to us. But when we don't do that, and we attach ourselves to the wrong set of people, right? And allow, and because everybody does pretend that they are Christians. They love to mock God, they love to scorn God, they love to do these things. Just as how in the Old Testament, where Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, he said it is finished, right? Because he did a will for his Father, right? The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is Trinity. They are one, right? The enemy is a liar. Because the enemy trick, right? The enemy try to try to trick Jesus Christ in the wilderness and say, "I can give you every single thing, but it is written, Thou shalt love the Lord with all thy heart, all thy soul.'" So Jesus Christ is the Creator. Jesus Christ created every single thing. The enemy is a liar. Do not allow the enemy to trick you. The enemy will try to get your family against you all these things because the bible talk about mother against daughter daughter against and every single thing in the last days we are living in the last days yes and every the bible have to fulfill whatever you see in the bible you're seeing it now because generations after generations so we have to ought to focus on the lord right and be in tune about what he's saying to us right so we have to be like a tree planted right for the rivers of waters right and now O inhabitants of jerusalem and men of judah judge i pray you between me and my vineyard my people says the lord so god is going to god is going to it have no division in that right the enemy want division but god wants unity and love right so god is saying to them that i don't want my people to divide i want everybody to come together as one and celebrate my my glory and my will for mankind right because i created i created man in his in his own image and likeness and my breath is amongst the people right so i say what more could have been done to my vineyard that i have not done in it when i look for it to bring forth grapes why did it yield wild grapes so they were really really pondering as why it is how it is my vineyard didn't grow no um no grapes naturally why grow wild grapes? Because it was on bad, bad soil, right? Bad ground, okay? And now I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away its hedge and it shall be eaten and burnt up and I will break down its walls and it shall be trodden down by the enemies. Okay, so God is going to break down. God is going to break down and raise up people in this season for his glory and kingdom. God is going to break down your life and, and, and he will stack your life stacks alive you're going to build it build it build it until it grow so he wants you right to work on yourself he wants you to praise and worship he wants you to pray every day right do not study what other people have to say this because the social media is going down the drain they're falling in a hand basket right because we're living in a in a day or two that people don't care about no one anymore right everybody full of themselves when the bible talk about right as christian people we supposed to be ought to lifting up somebody not bringing down the person right we ought to not supposed to be jealous in nobody in the body of christ we supposed to be ought to be equal with the lord right because all this spirit of jealousy and spirit of infirmity is not coming from god it's coming from the enemy right because the bible also say that the enemy time is short for elect's sake according to matthew 24 right he will shorten the days for the elect sick and we are the elect right we have to act as the elect we have to act we have to sound and we have to be determined right and confidence have put on your god confidence put on your full armor too right every single day of your life okay so coming back to this is an interesting story right is that and i will lay it waste it shall not be pruned or cultivated but there shall come up Briars and thorns, I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord, verse 7, for the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel and the men of Judah, his pleasant plant in the plant of his delight. And he looked for justice, but behold, oppression and bloodshed. He looked for righteousness, for uprightness and right and God, but behold, a cry. So it had a cry, it had a distress upon the land and oppression upon the land but when you're in right standing with the lord jesus christ you are upholding the uprightness you are on solid ground nothing cannot move you or shake you right because you stand for what is right you stand not because you're standing 
not because your friend tell you something not because what people say is what god say matters right people don't have no say in nothing in your life and do not allow the enemy to trick you and fool you right always put on your full armor always renounce command and cast out and bind okay because we have the power in our words we have the power because god gave us the authority god gave us the dominion to speak life into our into our family lives into our business lives whatever right so in times of trouble and despair we need to call upon the lord right because when we dwell in the secret place when you go in the secret place of the most high we shall abide on the shadow of the almighty we're not abiding under people's law we are not abiding under man's law we are not by abiding by what the enemy is saying and do not listen to the enemy because he's a full of lies a pack of lies okay so in my okay verse 9 in my eyes is the lord of hosts said of a truth many houses shall be desolate so many houses shall be desolate right desolate mean it shall be inhabitants right even great and beautiful ones without inhabitants so it shall be beautiful for 10 acres of vineyard shall yield only about eight gallons and ten bushels of seed all produce but one bushel woe unto those who rise in the morning early that they may pursue strong drink who tarry late into the night till wine inflames them so they had a vineyard and this vineyard was growing a set of wine right a set of wine to drink right because that was a strong there's a strong liquor right but the bible talk about it good for the belly a little bit not plenty right i so take away all the infirmities all the thing right but that was in the old days, right? We are not living by Moses' law, right? Again, we are living by God's grace, right? Because God's grace is sufficient through faith, okay? And faith without works is dead. And walk by faith and not by sight, right? So therefore, my people, go into captivity to the enemies without knowing it and because they have no knowledge of God. So they were in captivity. They were bounded, right? They cannot move. They were in chains. You have to break every chain, right? Because there's power. There's power in the name of Jesus. When you break every chain, you break every chain off of the enemy. You break every yoke of the enemy. You break every generational curses in your life, right? When you break off, you are free, right? No more bondage, no more stress, no more captivity. And that is what people are right now in hostage right now, right? You have some people on social media, right? YouTube, Facebook. Right? In social media. All the Facebook teams who are working hard. All the YouTube teams. Good morning to you all. But all you need Jesus Christ. Right? Don't go by what the Hindus say. Don't go by, like, don't go by what the Muslims say. Right? Because all of them need Jesus Christ. Right? And the only way to get to know Jesus Christ is by repenting and surrendering you all. Right? Do not, uh, do not listen to what the enemy is saying. Do not listen to what other entities are saying. Because they are a whole pack of lies. That's why God will judge. God will judge people on this face of the earth for what they are doing. Right? And even though, right, they work hard, you have to get up in the morning. You have to thank Lord for life. You have to thank Lord for the breath what he given us. It's not our breath. God gave us this breath to use correctly. Not to use when we convenient. Whatever convenient to us. Right? God, you, God use us as vessels. For his kingdom and glory. So we have to be portraying that in our daily lives. The light has to be shining before men. And that is why Joseph does be on all these videos. Right? Because God said when you are stern in the Lord. When you are faithful in the Lord. When you trust in the Lord. Right? And you allow Jesus Christ to come into your life. You are a changed man and a changed woman. Right? And your children are changed too. Right? Not the other way around. Not because God say whoever contrary, whoever contradict the word of the Lord shall be damned. That's what the Bible says also too. Right? So in verse 20 it says, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. That is what the whole thing in the whole society right now. Right? People are calling evil good and good evil. Who put darkness for light and light for darkness? Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter? Right? So woe to those woe to those right who call evil good good evil right they shall be damned and doomed right woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and prudent and sure in their own sight woe to those who are mighty heroes 
at drinking wine and men of strength and mixing alcohol drinks alcoholic drinks right so what to all these people and them who are mixing up the word of god and putting it in their own thinking right these people and them will be damned god will judge them for what they are doing just as how anybody of christ it has some people say they are christian people and they don't act upon it right they do what they want right god cannot do them nothing god could do you something ma'am right god is the one in control jesus christ is the one in control he could raise up he could put on he could destroy he could do things when you go is right upon the turn of disobedience right so verse 24 said, Therefore, as the tongue of fire devours of the stubble, as the dry grass sinks down in the flame, so their root shall be as rottenness, and their blossom shall go up as fine dust, because they have rejected. So they have rejected God. They cast away the law and the teaching of the Lord of hosts, and have not believed. So they have not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. They want to do their own thing. They are rebellious. They are perpetrators. They are traitors for the Lord Jesus Christ. They are oppressed people. They do evil. They only go by what vanity or by what former things is. They don't go by what God says. They go by what their own understanding is. Because the Bible talks about do not lean on your own understanding. When you do that, that is the trick of the enemy, right? When you do these things, you are causing hurt to your own selves, okay? So we need to spread the word of the Lord correctly, right? So the teaching of the Lord of hosts and have not believed but have treated scornfully and have despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. So God is saying that they treated Jesus Christ as nothing. They treated Jesus Christ as nothing. They didn't value Jesus Christ nothing, right? And Jesus Christ is the one who gave us the life, right? Jesus Christ is the one who, who mold us into the dust, right? We come up from the dust of the ground and he mold us and created us, right? But the Bible say, Right? The Bible says we have to try the spirits. And if it's not of God, many false prophets. So we have to be careful about the ministries. We have to be careful because it are people nowadays only on money. Right? They're only using the Bible, right? For money. They're using the Bible. They're using the mocking God, false pretense. And we have to be, God doesn't look at the outward. God does look at the hearts of men. Right? So we have to be careful who we, um, who we, applying ourselves to who are we looking at on youtube because there are plenty of people in ministries plenty of people who say they are prophets right plenty of people who say they are prophets on facebook all over but it have false prophets have antichrist you have to be careful and we have to put on the full of arm of the lord you have to be in in soldier mode because we know the battle is not yours it's the lord's god will fight your battles but you have to be careful not everybody because there are people monitoring spirits too Monitoring spirits on your social media sites, monitoring spirits that monitoring it from afar, and they're trying to copy you and they're trying to mock you and scorn you and do these things. But God will deal with them in due time. Okay, so this is saying, Saints of God, we have to wake up, we ought to wake up, we ought to, we ought to love one another, we ought to care for one another, we ought to have compassion for one another, and learn God's love is no other than man's love, right? God's love is different, right? God's love is so, so, so out of this world, right? It's very heavenly and sacred, right? So therefore is the anger, verse 25, Therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and he has stretched forth his hand against them. Right? So he has stretched forth. So Jesus Christ stretched forth every single thing. He rebuilt the city. He restored the city, right? He rebuilt your life. He restore your life and you're still doing, you're still stabbing God in the back. That's what you're doing. But it, it will come back to you too, right? Because whatever goes around comes around, right? So all the giants shall be, all the giants in your life shall be falling down in the name of Jesus right now, okay? So God is really going against the people right now because his wrath is upon the children of disobedience, right? And the mountains tremble and there should and, and dead bodies were as dung and sweepings in the midst of the streets. For all this is his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out, still in judgment, and he will lift up a signal. So God is going to lift up kingdom people, anybody at Christ, to reign forevermore, right? He, 
going to call together hostile people. So hostile people are unfriendly people, right? So hostile mean unfriendly, right? From afar. So from the north, from in America, straight to Mexico, straight to Europe, straight to China, straight to all over the place. God is going to find his people and raise up an army. An army of soldiers, anybody of Christ, to take out the enemy, right? Because the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's, right? So just as how David, David had to stand up on his own two feet, right? And it's true, the Holy Spirit had it to, that, that giant had it to crash down, right? Because of the, just a stone and a sling, right? He had it to be brave. And Jonah too had it to be brave. So all these people in the Bible, we need to, we need to um, follow the examples what they did, right? They were brave men in the body of Christ because why? Through of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit used them, and that is how they end up getting their blessings and all these things. So that is the reason why you have to follow through. Do not follow no other book than the Bible. Okay? Saints of God. So verse 27 said, None shall be weary or stumble among them. None shall be weary. So we, we mustn't be weary and well doing, according to Galatians 6 9. Right? We mustn't be wearing well-doing, but in all things, pray, right? Pray for our family, pray for our neighbors, pray for people, that they will come to know Jesus Christ and not bring them down. Give a word of encouragement to someone in your family, right, who needs it, right? Because this world has nothing to offer more than chaos and confusion. And we see that in all in America and Caribbean, that people have no love again, right? A few people, the Bible says many Many are called, but few are chosen. And we have to understand that. Right? So many are called to do God's work, but few are chosen. So they have to know that Jesus Christ is the one. Right? Jesus Christ is the only one have the say in your life. Right? So there, okay, their arrows, verse 28, are sharp, are sharp, and all their bows bent. Their horses who shall seem like flint, and their wheels like a whirlwind. Right? So their roaring shall be like a lioness. They shall roar like young lions. So we must be the lion, tribe of Judah. We must be eagles and lions in the body of Christ. Roaring for the Lord Jesus Christ. They shall grow and cease their prey and carry it safely away. And there shall be none to deliver it. So there shall be none to deliver it. Mean there shall not be no more mourning or no more groaning or anything. God will deliver his people. Right? That's how he will deliver your family. Deliver yourself out of evil. All these things. Right? And in that day, last verse, those in the back in the front, wherever you are in the gym, wherever you are, on the work, wherever you are, listen to this. And in that day, they, the army from afar, shall roar against the Jews like the roaring of the sea. And if one look to the land, behold darkness and distress, and the light itself will be darkened by the clouds of it. So God is going to send a great cause of distress upon the land of the living why because his wrath is upon the turn of disobedience they rebel against god they turn away from god they didn't listen to god they scorn they mock they do what they have that to do but they were they were wrong though right so those of you all who have people like that in all their lives don't worry right do not be wearing well doing do not be anxious for nothing do not worry up yourself do not stress out yourself god is going to send the right people in your life for you right all you have to do is to all you have to do is to walk that narrow road. Do not walk the broad road because the broad road leads to destruction. The narrow road leads to, leads to eternal life with the Lord, right? So in closing, God is saying to us, we ought to stretch forth, stretch forth our lives and hands to the Lord and allow him to make you whole again. Allow him to refresh your mindset so you'll be able to partake of what he has for you. Right? And do not study the enemy and do not study what people are doing in your life. People are hating you and jealous in you. That is a part of God's plan. Right? God will close doors that no man can shut and God will open doors. Right? So we have to learn how to wait, how to respond, not to every single thing in life, but allow Jesus Christ to live in you, that he will use you. For his kingdom and we will be reigning forever let us pray heavenly father just thank you for this 
this powerful scripture word. I pray, Father, it will be shaken the minds and hearts of people all across the globe, Father Lord, globally, internationally, Father, in America, Caribbean. I pray, Father Lord, yes, that, Father Lord, you just put a song in their, in their life, Father Lord, that, Father Lord, you break every yoke of the enemy, Father Lord, right now in their life. All social media platforms, all on Facebook, YouTube, wherever, the teams and them, Father Lord, that are responsible for videos and all these things shall repent of the sins. That, Father Lord, they will know, Father Lord, that Jesus Christ is the only way to any truth and any life and not the enemy because according to john 10 10 the enemy comes to steal to kill and destroy but you come that you have life and have it more about me and thank you lord just to come into your presence so about to bring you a lecture session i pray to be a blessing to the hearts that father lord the scriptural word will be empowering the lives and changing the lives of the better father lord, and allow the holy spirit to encamp around the house according to psalms 91 verse 7 and Father Lord, allow the angels to just work in the lives behind the scenes, Father Lord. And Father Lord, those of them need a touch from you, they will have a touch from you. So I'm about to leave everything care, I'm about to go to the lecture session. I pray that the Holy Spirit will lead and direct in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. So I hope this 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 nice, powerful word be a blessing to your hearts. That you will take it, take heed, and know that Jesus Christ is the only way for your life. Right, that you could get up in the morning and you could be like Josan. Because I love the Lord with all my heart and all my soul, and you clean out. God will purify you, God will make you new again. Okay? So let us go on to the. Chapter 6. So yesterday we dealt up with decide on how much you want to earn and this is chapter six now tomorrow is the bible study too also okay so this is saying this is a powerful tool right so this is what the notes is saying right so write down in okay in our due today's conversation we all have come across the theory of the positive thinker right draw it in Number two, our power of thinking is as strong. It is a, it attracts whatever we want in our life, right? So God give us the power, right? We have power in our words. We have power. Our thinking is so powerful that whatever we say or do, we are getting it right, but not right away. It will take a process, okay? So all of all of the universe will work to was achieving what. You desire so god will give you desires of your heart right if you just obey him if you just seek him if you just trust in him if you just believe on him if you just be faithful in him right if you're always praying and interceding with him too also and praise and worship god will give you every single thing by achieving whatever you want with your heart's desires right and you need to think about it you need to think before you act speak you need to be slow to speak Right, be swift to hear and slow to speak, right? So if we think negatively, so if we think negatively, if we think about the carnal minded, if we be carnal minded with the Lord, right? That is abomination, right? But we will be uttering negative words. So we need to stop. That is the power, according to Proverbs 18, verse 21. Right? Power and life, okay, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So we have to be choosing our words very correctly and talking positive and speaking life into existence right so negativity will keep you away from your goal right so that will keep you away from what you supposed to achieve right if you're negative but if you're positive you can bring changes in your entire life your life might be in positive about everything so men women Think positive, right? Start to think positive, right? Because your life will not change overnight. So your life will not change. It will take a process. It will take time. But it eventually will bring a positive impact in your life and your family life and your children life, okay? So as you water your seed of positivity, think about it, transforms your life and brings about necessary change, right? So number one, be sure of what you want in life once you decided on that. You can ask God for help to achieve your goals. Try to create a clear image of what you desire, okay? Mm. 
so what you desire be sure of what you want in life okay concentrate on your thoughts and watch what you say about your about of design act and feel that what you are asking for of on your way so concentrate on your thoughts that means concentrating that means understanding that means focusing right focusing on what you want to achieve and watch what you say right that is speaking life right into existence and number three listen to your instinct listen to your intuition because the intuition does be right right that is the holy spirit listen to the holy spirit listen to the voice right correlate to them and understand what god wants of you because all the messages that you are getting right all the messages what the universe or what god is giving to you right will be assurance right that you want what you want on its way right so you will gain financial success right by doing that it will be able to bring a closure in your life it will be able to give you clarity of what you want and it will benefit from that so always think about good things good thoughts and you will see things happening in your life by praying by understanding that god loves you and god cares for you you'll be able to achieve the goals that you achieve but if you think keep on thinking negative negative shall bring you down right do not mix up yourself with negative people but understand be having some like-minded friends positive because positive does bring success victory negative does bring destruction and also stress and all these things okay so just recapping we dealt up with today right Isaiah chapter 5 right 1 to 30 and then we went on to chapter 6 right a powerful tool right you could use this is the powerful tools I give you five I give you draw it in right the power of your thinking is very strong your mind is very strong and use it wisely and I give you some pointers I will be able to enable all to understand that you have the power to change your life by doing the positive outcome okay so I hope men and women will take down notes and young people too right this will be a good way for you to live a holy life with the Lord Jesus Christ right and this will be a powerful tool for you to make earn money and su be successful in your everyday life okay so let us pray Heavenly Father we just thank you for this short video I pray for Lord, it will be a blessing to their hearts and Father Lord you just on you just open the minds and hearts of people around the world for America Caribbean and Father Lord, they will know Father Lord put a little thing Father Lord in their lives Father Lord that Father Lord they will be free from all sin and all these things Father Lord I thank you Lord for this session Father Lord and the session will be a reason Father Lord for their life to transform by the renewing of your mind father lord i just thank you lord for the lecture session that father lord they will use that powerful tool that god gave them that father will not use it wayward and negative but positive they will be thinking on a positive road and positive journey what they have father lord that father lord, they will make they will make moves father lord in their life father lord. so I'm about to leave i pray father lord that the holy spirit will guide and teach them in all truth father lord and allow Open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessings. So about to leave, Father, I pray you'll have a terrific Tuesday, Father, wherever and will. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, Amen. So this is coming to the end of the video. I hope you all love this session, the lecture session, and the scripture word it was a blessing. But God is doing something in your life. Receive it and always believe that you have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Knowledge is power. Okay. So without no further ado, you have a blessed day. I just want to shout out to my husband, Mr. Justin. Love you all. I always pray, right, for your family. I pray for my kids, my nice kids, right? Kids, I want you to study your work, right? Study your work. Do not be sidetracked by the enemy. And I'm praying for you all, little as it is, right? I want you to grow in the nature of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in general, I want people, kids,
could grow up in the Lord. You see, when you train up a child, train up a child anyway, he should go and he will not depart. When he get old, he will not be far from it. Depart from it. Okay? So we need to train up our children in the Lord Jesus Christ and grow them from small straight up. So they not depart from what God has for them. Right? So that is what parents need to be doing instead of their they're doing a set of unnecessary things right they're supposed to be praying for the church and they're supposed to be having bible study in the home all these things vbs every single thing for little children so they will grow up all these cartoons and all these things are not of god some of the cartoons are evil and some are good so you have to be on pg advice okay so love you all with the love of jesus and i'll see you all tomorrow okay bye i'm looking good today So love you all and bye-bye. Have a blessed day and bye.